if you ever wished to manage your server files like you are browsing your local computer then uh, you are in luck because in this video we are going to see a uh, tool with a new interface that can be installed on docker that can help you manage your server files with ease you can uh, install it in docker compose and you will have access to a new UI that can help you move through files create new folders update them create new files and also share the files so this tool it's called file browser and uh, here you have the interface and in here for instance you see that this is the interface i have it installed already on a subdomain on the main website and in here you have the files this is how it looks like it is secured with an ssr certificate through cloudflare tunnels we are going to do that and um, in here you have the instant interface and in here you have the the folders that I've granted access to, you see in here that you have folders and in here, for instance, you have a video, you can even open the video and play it in here if you want. You just need to double click and if you hit play, you will see the video. Also, for instance, if we are going to go into a folder in here, you have the options to add new files, add new folders and in here you have the options to modify them. So you see in here that you have a nice interface that will understand the file type and it will highlight it and it will let you modify these files you can even share files with this tool very easily so for instance let's say we have this video and if i've selected it in here you have some options like delete it and download it you have the options to upload anything you have the informations in here about this you can have the md5 hash shown and things like that and you can even share it so for instance in here you see that i've created some tests in here you can create a new share and in here you have the share duration for how many hours days many seconds this to be available you can set a password for instance for this share and i will just let it like this and if you create if you create the share then you will have a url created and if you copy the url in here then you will have an uh, url pointing to the file and you can go and download it if you want like this and you can open the file and if you're in the new incognito window like this you will see the same thing with the login prompt so yeah you can easily share also files with the help of fire browser besides helping you manage your uh, your server files with with ease and in here you have the settings and in here you have the profile settings you have the options to hide the dot uh, dotted files we have the options change the language change the password and here we have the share management with all the things that were shared and you can delete them if you want we have some global settings in here like options to allow the user to sign up to create home directory we have other rules in here we have the options to disable external links and things like that and in here you have the permissions options that you can you can set the default settings you here you have the user management you can add new users if you if you want you can edit the existing one you can see in here that you can go and change the permissions in here you can change the password the language scope and yeah this is their interface and somewhere in here it had also an options to change the theme so you see in here you can also activate the light let me update this so you don't have only the dark options also in here you have the options to change how these files are shown so you can change this so i've created an article in here with all the steps and docker compose file that you need to to have to install this so the first thing that you will need you will need to have a vps create it hesner is my recommendation i've created a lot of videos in the past with hesner i will let some link to the description and uh, you have to have docker and docker compose installed i will let again a link in the description how you can install docker and docker compose besides that i'm going to use docjet to manage all of my containers i've already created a video with this also i will let into the description basically this is a portal alternative that can help you uh, manage your docker containers with with ease and um, yeah and, and in the end you're going to have the cloudflare tunnels configured so in here i've created a compose file for uh, for these installations and i will go and explain it so in here you have the image it will use the version 2s6 image for this it will restart if this is not stopped and in here you have the volumes and in the volume side for instance this is the 
path that you have in the server that will load into the UI applications to manage your folder so you can add individual paths. And if you want to add more, you can do that. You just need to use the slash in here, for instance, to add home or other, other things. For the, for the permissions, you, be, you need to be sure that the user that it's starting this, if you're running your Docker with root, it will be no problem. But if you're using a different user to run Docker, then you will need to be sure that the user that it's running Docker, it has permissions to access these uh, folders that you are loading in here. And uh, yeah, basically this is going to my server and in the, it's mounting the stacks folder into the file browser. And in here you have the file with the database that it will be created. And in here you have the settings.json that we are going to modify and create this file with the details. And in here I have added some environment details like uh, P PUID and the PG. ID. So basically this is for the file permissions and the permissions in case you are running this without uh, root. And uh, right now let's go and copy this. In here I have added also the port. So we see in here that the port is the uh, 5040. It goes to 80 ports. So you can change this port with whatever you want in your system. So I will just go and copy this and I will go into docj in here. You can go and create a docker compose file if you want. It will be the same process. You just need to run the Docker Compose app minus D to start it. So file browser. And in here, I will just paste the details. And in here, I will just uh, want you to demonstrate how this is working if you want to add multiple files. So I will put this into stacks. And uh, I will create also another uh, folder in here. So you can see how you can add multiple ones if you want to manage multiple ones is not a good option just to allow, for instance, the root access in here because someone, it, if someone will break into this server, it will can delete your server. So that's why you need to be very careful with what you are adding in, in here. So I will just add the home in here and in here I will put the home. So basically this will display two folder options and I will let the let, I will let everything like this. I will save this. And the other things that we need to go is to go and connect to the to the server next. And we'll, we'll need to create these files with these configurations. So in here I have all the uh, configurations. So we need to go into the folder that was created for, for this. So in here, for instance, the first thing that we are going to do is to create a file browser database file. So Docker can use this. So I'm already connected in here and I will go to the cd opt stacks and in here I will have the file browser and if we're going to check in here I have the docker compose file and I will just touch this file in here I'm with root in this case you need to be with your user that you're running the the container if you're not using root and then I will create a file with the settings and these settings for this, it will add the port, it will add the database file, it will add the root uh, folder for this, the application we, we will use. And let me go and create this. So I will just create this file and I will go and copy this exactly as it is. And right now we can go and insert these details in here. Okay, so right now we should have all the files created in here. We have the database, we have the settings, we have the compose file. You can start the compose file from this path with docker compose up minus D if you want, but I will go into docj and do that. So we can have the logs and all the details. So let's go and start this. You see that the ID and the group was not uh, added. So it created one for me. So we can go for instance, and uh, add the rights for the for the for this file. I've already created also in here this step in case uh, it fails to to the things that we need to do. But in my case, I will just go and add the zero for the PUD to see if this is fixing this problem. So I will add zero because I'm using root, and this should work. Let's go and update this.
okay so you see that right now it's using the root uh, uid and the gid for this to work and connect this it's working you see it's it has been started successfully let's go and uh, configure the cloudflare tunnels because this it's working and we need to add an ssl certificate for this because you should uh, close the ports to your server with the firewall for instance you don't want someone to access your server directly with the port so that's why you need to set the cloudflare tunnels already i created a tutorial for this so i will add a public host name in here and what i will do i will add the files like i had before i will choose a domain for this i will choose a type and i will add the server ip so this is basically the server ip it's with the port that i set and we hit save and uh, right now we have a subdomain with files that should work and let's go and see it's working or not so you see in here that right now we have the domain with the certificate and we have the login so for the beginning you have the admin and the admin so right now you are logged in and you see in here you have two two folders the one that you have mounted so in here you have the home and in here you have like the files i'll just have only one test file in here and the other thing in here you have the stacks which i misspelled <laughs> yeah so in here you have all the all of these details you have the for instance flow i thing that i have basically these are the compose files that i have for my application stacks so you can go and manage this then you can go to settings for instance and can change your password for this in the user management you can go and edit this user and you can even change the username so you can uh, alter all the things that you want in in here to make this secure the other thing that i am recommending you because basically this is an application and if someone will take uh, control through a bug that they have to this application it will be good to uh, to activate the access thing in here so basically in here you just need to add an application and secure it with uh, a second a second layer of authentications cloudflare can help you do that it will send your code through email if you want to activate it again if you're using your own uh, reverse proxy in there you can go maybe and activate the basic authentication another thing that you can do if you when you are not using this is just to let it stop so no one can access uh, access this so you can start it when in, only when you need it so you need to be to be careful with this type of containers and what access you are granting to it because if someone will take control through an application bug let's say or maybe a weak password then you can go and see your files and delete them and that's why it's it's a good uh, option to just uh, add as many security layers as you can like uh, closing the port in here so no one can ac access your uh, your installation with only the the port to add a second layer of authentications to cloudflare if you're using cloudflare like like me in here or through basic authentication if you are using other reverse proxy for for this and yeah you can even stop it and let it open only when you need to do something in in here so yeah in this way you are installing the file browser with the help of docker and docker compose i hope you enjoyed the the, the video and in case you want to see similar videos with different applications that can be installed with docker or other devops tutorials then i'll let uh, on a video at the end with a playlist that can help you go through some of the other tutorials that i have and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video